Hi guys, and welcome back to a brand new tattoo TikTok. <laughs> I messed up, girls. Tattoo TikTok fail reaction video. What is the T? What is the Darjeeling? The Lapsang Sushan? The Scalding Hot Assam? The L Grey? What is the T? Would you like some tea? But yes, hi everyone, hello, I hope you're having a wonderful day, evening, week, month, wherever it is, whenever it is you last checked in with us. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. Today we are diving back into the world of tattoo TikTok fails. One of my favourite things that we do on my channel at the moment. I absolutely love doing these because you really never know what you are going to get. So, make sure you do come follow me over on Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff. Come send me reels, come send me TikTok to react to, and maybe you can be, you know, your video can be featured in the next one. Anyway... Please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that are coming up. But let's not beat around the bush. And get on with these, these tattoo TikTok bell. I threw myself off then. <laughs> you can, we can already tell today is going to be a lot. So, oh, no, wait, that's not real, is it? No, it's not. No, that has to be a joke. No, stop it. Stop it. That's not real. No, you're luck. Is that real? No, that has to be a joke. That has to be a joke. It looks like you've just taken Sharpie and gone, hey, on my face, girl. That beard ain't fooling anyone. What is happening? What's happening? Oh my God, expelled. That is very cursed. That's very cursed image. <laughs> but look as well. If we stop a second, can you pause? You can pause Instagram videos on select. Like, there's like a spider or something here on his face. It's like a little spider up to it. Uh, oh, creepy crawly, incy wincy spider, went up my face. Um, whoever said this was a good idea did not like you. The tattoo artist did not like you. No one in your life likes you when they thought that this was a good idea. I thought we were friends. <laughs> Oh god, to it, to woo, she's coming for you. Hide your beard, girls, because she likes you. That's absolutely unhinged. Nobody knows it's a tattoo, except for everyone with eyes. So what is, <gasps> wait, what? Chattering myself? God, there's music, I'm going to turn the music off. Just press, oh, what is, what's happening? What is happening? What the thing? <gasps> oh, oh my god. What is happening? Oh, my... not even ghosts. What the hell does that mean? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, we can't. Oh, for God's sake. Look at this on his legs. <gasps> what is this? It's artistic. Artistic? Good, I? Tattering my... And what's this? What? The, the, the dirt? And the hat? Oh, no. Oh, and he looks so young. He looks like 18 years old. Like... The caption of this says, Day 163 of 500. What the f*** uh, does that mean? You're gonna die. Oh my god. So is he, is he like tattooing himself for 500 days in a row or something? <gasps> oh no. But what's this? It's like a, a... Oh. Oh, this makes me really uncomfortable. This... Oh, what? Here's another video. Tattooing myself. It's another video. Oh, he, he's even got it on a... On his... Oh no. Oh, stop it. This makes me really uncomfortable. <gasps> oh no. God. <sighs> I said it before and I'll say it again. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. You blithering idiot! What was that? That may actually make me feel a bit sad. There was an there was an aura about that that wasn't like lol quirky just being stupid for a like a tiktok or something like that felt a bit sad there was something a bit sad about that that felt sad do you not think there was something there was something sad in that oh that made me really uncomfortable that makes me really uncomfortable is he just gonna do his whole body like that and he's so young so he looked like 18 he looked so young graffitied all over his legs and he's going onto his chest he's on his hands like what so what is this oh uh, wait what the uh, 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 Oh my God. Oh, Jesus. <gasps> oh, oh, thing is, you, you see videos of this all the time of just like actual people doing actual drawings and like they're like, you know, on a chalkboard or something. But to do it tattoo on you, to tattoo it on you. I beg your pardon, are you ill? You, oh uh, God. 
People, again, you don't understand. It's outside to art. Yeah, it should stay outside. Don't come near me. I'm sorry as well. I'm sorry as well. I fail to believe that she thought, like, this is what he was drawing on her, whatever. This... Sorry, you were doing that on purpose. You were doing that on purpose. Like, that's unhinged. God, people are doing too much. As much as I love making these videos, it does kind of make me sad for humanity. <laughs> oh, God, we're all Zoom. We're all going to hell, girls. I'm on the highway to hell. Da 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 da. Highway to hell. God, die. Highway to hell. Highway to hell. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, what's that? Uh, uh, why? Stop it. I hate it. Why? That is so disgusting. Ugh. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I, that is so, f no, duh. bye, goodbye, goodly bye. I'm so done with all this spit cleaning. It's so, d that is, oh. Oh, she's getting nightmares tonight, girls. So what is, hey, oh, what? That, man. Don't, for real, don't tattoo your forehead. You really tattooing your forehead? Oh my god. Man. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You got such cool... T <laughs> oh my god. You got that one. You did... Woo! What does it look like? Are you doing a hairline? You just need to just, just tap in your whole hairline. Oh my god. Damn, stop, dude. Come on. <laughs> How about you actually stop oh him god. and not just like record him doing <gasps> She is <laughs> Sometimes it's just better just not to want to understand. Sometimes, sometimes it's just, you know, do you know what? Just, let's just not. So let's just, let's just not and say we did. A's are good, A's are good. Ba -la -la. He's up and A's are good. A's are good, A's are good. Ba -la -la. He's up and A's are good. Okay, so what is this? Oh, wait, what? Oh, he's really struggling. Oh, help me, girls. I can't deal with, no. That's who paid for oh, her. Thank you. Oh God, he's out, he's out, he's sobbing. <laughs> I mean, it's not the most hygienic to have all of these people like clambering over you when you're trying to get tattooed. She's like, um, I'll man up your puff. <laughs> oh God, no girl, sure. I mean, fair is fair. At least he's sitting still and not going, oh. <laughs> can you imagine? Absolutely not. Mum, dad, line. No, silly. No, it's always very, it's always little scared. It's always a bit nervous. So what? Oh wait, what? Oh, this person is that meant to be like signatures? Is that meant to be signatures? Back in my day, we just signed a T-shirt. Now we're signing our own skin. That's horrible. Like, is that is that meant to be like signatures of things? I don't recognize any of these, and maybe it's just their friends or something. What is it? I just. I don't, I can't see anyone here that I recognize, like any signatures or people that I recognize. Whatever happens to a good old fashioned signature book, you're gonna sell your back? And it's strange. Now you just look like a, a scribbled on desk, a, like a scribbled on school desk. Like, sure. Sure. I think it looked absolutely horrible, but if this is what brings you immense joy, sure. Okay, so Jesus effing Christ. Oh my. <gasps> oh. God, is that Jesus after we rotted for 10 years? That is, oh my God. I love as well, like, because of this right, oh, she was, because of this writing here, it looks more like G-E-S-V-S, Jeevus. <laughs> Jeevus hates Christ, girls. I'm sure Jesus himself would come back and go, thank you for getting that on your arm. It's really lifelike. And it's honestly like looking into a mirror. Drunk, like I don't like what? Silly! How utterly disturbed! <laughs> I love how his face is kind of like elongated here, and it kind of like, suddenly goes to the side a bit, like he's got this weird sort of like protruding jaw to the side. God, hello, oh, yeah, I turn water into wine, girl. <laughs> I don't know where that accent came from, but we're going with it. That's Jesus's accent now. Oh, what for Jesus? Jesus loved a good pizza. Oh, I feel like I sound like 
Wallace. <laughs> Squat for Jesus, Gromit. I promise I'll never do that again. Oh, not this. Getting my boyfriend's name tattooed in my forehead. Kevin. Oh, hello. I'm a woman and I've got Kevin on my... <gasps> oh, stupid. Oh, I'm so sick of this. She's getting so... So, hang on. Wait, okay, so. If people haven't seen this. So this girl is saying that she's getting her boyfriend's name tattooed in her forehead. So she's here, clearly, like anyone with a bit, okay. like pe most, anyone with some tattoo knowledge will be able to see very easy like, that this oh, isn't real. Like, like there isn't any spatters, yeah, like, there isn't any like ink spatters proper. There's no redness or soreness on the forehead. Especially like when you're doing on the forehead, oh. you're gonna do ta forehead tattoos and it's going to be like red everywhere. My this God. is- I love it. I love it. <laughs> Do you think he will like it? No, because he doesn't exist. Kevin. Kevin! This whole situation with this girl, obviously with me doing the stuff I do on the internet, it was impossible for me not to see this before making this video. So obviously some of you might have saw that and been like, why would she do that? It's obviously not real. This girl is doing it for attention. Now there's been a whole story arc of this girl and this forehead tattoo. And then like after everyone was like, this is clearly not real. She kind of like went on and on and on and on and on about how real this tattoo was. And it was like weird how long she like drug it out for, even though it was so obvious it wasn't real, but she kept going on. No, it's real. And then she was doing all these weird videos being like, I'm out to dinner with this forehead tattoo. Look, I'm gonna try and wash it off and it didn't come off or whatever. And the level, that she dragged this out for was so weird. Obviously she's got so much attention for it. She's got millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of views. But then she was like, oh, it's actually not real. And I did this to prove a message that you're gonna regret your tattoos like I did. And it was just utterly deranged. Like you weren't doing this to be like, a, a pioneer of the progress to be like, oh no, please think about what you're doing, girls. It was all done for attention, but she tried to pass it off as if like she was doing it to be like a message. But then in the video talking about how she regrets her tattoos, she goes, I don't actually regret how they look or where they are. I actually really like them. I just regret how they came about. What? It feels a little bit like, it's a little bit like Ollie London to like the trans community or the gay community or like Blair White to the trans community or like Candace Owens to the black community. Like it feels, it felt a little bit like she was trying to be that sort of like pick me grift. But in the tattoo world, it was very strange. It was very weird. It was very weird. With things like this, if you were doing it for to be the person trying to make a message or a point to be like, don't be stupid and don't get names tattooed on your face or whatever. She went viral so quickly that she should have done it the next day. She could have done it the next day and been like, look, I did this to be like, oh, trying to send a message. But the way that she dragged it out for as long as she did, she clearly was just clout chasing and trying to get attention. And then to try to spin it, she was like, oh, I was actually doing it for a message. No, sis we see right through you. If you're gonna be a grifter, if you're gonna be a clout chaser, if you're gonna do all of these things, at least own it. Just own it and be like, yeah, I did this, I wanted the likes, so I was trying to get attention. Like, at least own it. Trying to pretend that you're trying to send like a positive message, it was, it's just cringe. So what is this? Bought my own tattoo gun and I'm obsessed. Tattoo gun. Oh God, this is, oh, this looks like the perfect example of just because you can doesn't mean you should. Naughty little girl. Oh gosh. I just, what's the point? Like, what's the point? It's just like, just l look at the setup. Just on some like rug on the floor, just outside like this with like fluffy things all around. Like it's, it's a fact as well. Like they're tattooing themselves with this fluffy rug, like all around them. Like if that fluff gets put into your skin, Oh God! Wearing these like fluffy socks, right? Like, look at the like the blanket and the socks right next to where she's just. Oh wow! No! Ooh! Oh God! All the fluff! Oh no! Guy gets electronic store's logo tattoo to win an iPhone 14. <gasps> oh, stop it! Oh, some things aren't worth it. Getting an iPhone 14 is not worth permanently marking your body with some like shitty side stores, like logo. Like what are you doing? OL, I've never heard of OLG I technologies, whatever it is. That's so stu Love yourself more. Love yourself more. Love yourself more. I've said it once and I'll say it again and I'll say it until my entire face melts off. I, 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 I have no words. What, I have no words. 
I have no what just to win an iPhone 14. And iPhones deplete in value within like a, within like six months, they go down. The next, as soon as the next iPhone comes out, your one that you've got now is practically worthless. Like for an iPhone, at least make for something that's going to be like you know actually worthwhile. Like a, just an iPhone. Just for an iPhone. Eye for an eye, gants for gants. So what is it? Oh, for God's sake. <gasps> oh, stop it. Why? We've, I mean, I don't know if these are the same people that we tend to, we've seen many people who are like doing it while they're driving on bikes and like motorcycles and scooters and stuff. This is the first time I've seen it done during like skateboarding like this. So creativity. Green is not a creative color. Social media has, again, social media has like a great, thank you. And it turns out like you've just scribbled. Like social media is bonkers. Social media has just ruined people's minds. The clout chasing that people do now. And like, again, I've said this before and I'll say it again. If you want to do this shit, do it, but don't get other people involved. You're just going through like a public street where anything could happen, where you could actually whack into someone. He could like, and that part of the leg as well, it's got a lot of nerve endings. When uh, my leg was being done, both sides on that, on that part of my leg, my leg would jolt a bit because there's lots of nerves and it would make me sort of like twitch. One little twitch, you've fallen off. You could hit onto someone else. So, like lots of people are around here. Like if you're going to do shit like this, like I always say, you know, do it on your own terms, do it somewhere else where like you can't actually get other people involved. Doing it on a public street like this is so ridiculous because you're putting other people at risk of getting hurt. And I, I hate it. I hate, I hate it. Don't involve other people in your shitty clout chasing. Oh my God. So what's happening? Oh, oh, he's getting his pussy tattooed. Oh, tattoo the pussy girls. Oh. Oh. Time so I I find this interesting. So where he's getting tattooed is like on you know on, on his body slick girls. So I have obviously both sides of my leg tattooed fully, and it pretty much goes all the way up, all the way up to the to the you know to the. Let's not be crude. To the, to the, you know, to the slit. My left side hurt a lot more than my right side. And I didn't, I couldn't work out why to begin with, why that side hurt. And it turns out that I actually had more stretch marks on the left side of my body, like on, around my sort of body slit area. And that little section of the back where my hell razor is, the back of his head hurt so much. And I could never understand why. And so I realized it's because I had stretch marks and tattoo removing stretch marks hurts so much more. And I'm assuming maybe he probably had something similar. I think it's very normal for people to have stretch marks like around sort of like the upper thigh in around the bum area. Like it's very normal for people to have stretch marks there. And I think maybe that's probably why he was finding it so painful as well. Most epic one, I have the runes of justice on the bottoms of, my, of, feet. of my feet. Ashes of my father are in that. Ashes of my father and are in that's what you it. get when you're more alcoholic than man, is you have me stepping on your grave every day for the way you failed your family. Bye. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. Well, <laughs> <laughs> moving on, cause I'm moving on now, moving on now. Don't get this tattoo. I had someone the other day being like, they were listening to moving on because I kept singing it in my videos. But I, after watching your videos, I had to go listen to the song. <laughs> so what is, oh gosh, oh, oh sis. Sis, look at the fingers! Oh, dirty! Oh, scrub a dub dub! I've got gout! Oh no! The thing is, if you're gonna get like tribal tattoos, especially like this kind of, this is like the, is it Maui? Maui? Tribal tattoos? Like, that actually has like real significance to people. So, like, that has to be gorgeous. This, on the other hand, that is just grotesque. But also like the fingers, all the dirty fingers, like all inside the tattoo. Like, are you wanting to get blood poisoning? Do you want a tetanus shot? Like what is happening? Like, <gasps> oh, it's so bad. And it looks so bad. The thing is, is, again, with these kind of like tattoos, like I think when we think of like tribal tattoos, I think a lot of people just think of like the 2000s one where it was like all these like white guys are just having like, lines on the arms and stuff, like sort of really thick, bold lines. This is a very different type of tribal tattoo. Again, where I said that it actually has like a meaning to a culture that to me just feels a little bit offensive. Taking away the meaning of it, when you think of the design itself, when you get stuff like that, it has to be 
perfect. You can't have little lines off, like, that kind of stuff has to be, like, perfection because of the pattern and the, you know, the symmetry and all, all the, it has to be perfect. So if even just one or two lines are off, it'll just throw the whole thing off. You want to make sure you're going to someone, like, perfect. That was terrible. So, the, uh, in God we try, oh, for God's sake, with chains and you've got, like, I'm sure God wouldn't love casino gambling. Like, isn't this is like this is like a casino symbol, right? I'm sure God in God we trust the bullet holes. I find it yeah, again. I'm sure God wouldn't. I want to be honest. The Bible is quite horrific. Maybe he would love gambling and shooting bullet holes in people's heads. I don't know, but I find that a bit of a contrast to have the two things together. They've got money bags. I mean, he does have the Simpsons leprechaun on his head, which I do kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> loony? Does he loony? Ha ha ha! I just find it strange that you would have In God We Trust like on your forehead like that and then have bullet holes and like gambling things. Like that just seems like an odd contrast. So, oh God, finished for today. Oh no. Oh, that's so much real estate for something so terrible. <gasps> oh no, sis. No, sis, it's not Christmas. You better scrape that tattoo off your back, miss. Oh my God. Is that meant to be like a fiend? I think it's meant to be like a phoenix or something. The only way you're gonna save this is either lasering it off or just blacking out your whole back because this is like, I think it's meant to be like a phoenix rising from the rise like a phoenix out of my back, cut cleaving gout. What is, this is, Oh wow! It like in this part here, look, this whole bottom section just looks like a just a mass of like black smudging. Like it doesn't. <gasps> oh god! And they look like they're in like a hotel room or something. Oh, do me on the bed, girls. What? It doesn't just look like some sort of like bedroom. This doesn't look like an actual studio, obviously. Just like tattooing on a bed, fabric and pillows and dust. Oh God. Welcome to the house of guts. Now you're tattooing. Welcome to the house of guts. Oh, stop it. Okay, so quick tattoo at a rave. That's all I have to say. <laughs> oh God, no! So what is this? So this person, oh, oh, wait, what? Are these in plastic bags? Oh, stop it. Um. Oh no, and they're like tattooing this person's ankle. Oh, my ankle per se. And they're using plastic bags as like gloves. Just buy some gloves. After working in retail for as long as I did, I want to inform you that these plastic bags that you get are not going to be very clean. You dirty bitch! This is not going to be clean. It, it, it honestly probably be better for you to scrub your fingers and just not wear these. Wear these. Because I'm wearing a plastic bag. You're probably better off honestly just not wear, like using these and just using your hands and scrub them clean. Like, plastic bags like this, and they're not clean. And like, no, the no, thing is as well, you yet. have to think of it as like, you've got, oh, and you're like rubbing the plastic bag or whatever. And like, if a tiny part of that fab, like the plastic comes off or gets in, you accidentally shove it in with the needle. Like that, you are asking for so many issues when you're using <laughs> bags as gloves. That's obscene. That's obscene. Oh God, Kyle. Jesus, Mary Magdwashlies. Oh no. Just gonna get into Morrison's and get some plastic bags for tattooing. Uh, so what wait, if your tattoo looks like this? Wait, what? If your tattoo looks like this, what? Wait, wait, wait that's what the draw wait, what? I mean, if the if the You F to but what but I'm confused because this is the image they've got. What? So they want it to look like that? What? What's happening? Don't blame the artist. You effed up. I mean, the artist could have said no. I'm confused, like, because, but this is what they wanted. This is what you've asked for. I'm really confused because you've given them an image of this baby and like, neither one of these look better than the other. I'm, this has confused me. I'm confused. What's happening? I'm confused. Oh, what? Oh, no. I'm confused, girls. 
Yeah, I'm confused. I don't understand what you were what you were after. I don't know how this is an F up. Like you've asked for this. It's also the tattoo artist's responsibility to say no to things if they can't do it. Like I'm I'm really confused by this. But the, the, but what they said that if you have if you have a tattoo that looks like this, don't blame the artist. It's your fault. Like it's also the artist's fault for accepting something that they can't do. Something like this, I always think. Well, this person wasn't a professional, or whatever. And you've just gone. I can do it free from me, or I can do it cheap here, whatever. Then there's uh, actual shitty people. But like if you're an actual tattoo artist and you accept a job that's a little bit higher than your skill range or in a different just in a different style you can't do like there are some amazing tattoo artists who do specific styles but if you ask them to do another style they won't be as good and that's fine but like to accept it that's also your responsibility as an artist to be like look this isn't my area of expertise maybe you can go to this person or i can recommend someone when you just accept a job because you want money then you're not a good professional artist i said what i said oh for god's sake is this another one Fortnite. Your mum's gonna kill me, girls! Oh, I'll kill myself! It looks like it's suicide again for me. This is, yeah, th I mean, again, I don't believe this is real for a second. I don't believe this is real. I think this person has seen the other video because as, like, as always, when someone goes mega viral doing something, suddenly everyone else copies it. Like, this is, I don't believe it for a second. I don't, I just don't believe it for a second. They tried to make it realistic at the end. Like, again, a little bit like the Kevin thing. Like, when you can, when you see the person, like, tattooing over it, like, you had the tattoo sound. I've taken, I've taken the thing up because of music. But, like, there's no, like, there's always going to be a tiny bit of, like, spillage and, like, th there's no redness here in the head. And this, like, it's, it's not real. This isn't real. This person has seen the Kevin thing and gone, I can do that too. By the way, I always want to say as well, um, the reason that a lot of this just like doesn't have any sound is because a lot of it with being reels and TikToks is they have a lot of music playing underneath. And of course, I can't put that. So what, what, wait, uh, what? Child of God. I mean, you're a child of something, but God isn't it. Well, the devil's in the phone booth. Phone booth. Dialing 911. Child, I can't even work. What is this meant to be? Is that meant to be like a mask? And is this like an angel? Angel, oh, an, uh, my angel. Is that an angel? I think this is an angel. And then child of, is this, and there's like a dove. And it's like, it almost looks like a, like a, the thing is it looks like a, like a, like a mushroom cloud from like an atom bomb or something. And like, it's, it does, it looks more like an explosion. Like one of, you know, one of the big bomb things. Oh, I've wasted my life. So what is this? Oh, wait, what? Ugh, what they, is that a, a lecture? Are they, they're doing it in a lecture? This is like a, is this like a universe? Oh, it's a stadium. <gasps> See, that's not okay. Like when you're dealing with like plasma, blood, like inks, like it's it's not okay. Like surely this is illegal. Surely this is like a biohazard, like illegal. Because like when you're inside a natural studio, they're very careful with like they've got they've got like specific things that you have to dispose of, like your needles in and the tissues that you use after wiping away that like, the blood and stuff. Like it's a biohazard. Surely doing this in a stadium like this is considered illegal. Is it not? Would this not be illegal? Blood splattering places sometimes. I might come out, some ink might come out, like, and this person obviously doesn't want, I don't believe that this person would know what they're doing, like, come on, let's just be honest, if you're doing something like this, you're obviously not, like, a real tattoo artist, sorry. Oh. Surely, I don't know, this feels illegal, this feels illegal, illegal! Tattoo artist of the community comments of here, is this, what this speak, is it illegal, illegal? It just seems weird. Stop right now, thank you very much, die. The fitness gram pacer test, what? The fitness crowd is a mod. Wait, what is this? In 20 meter pepper, which is like saying, I. What? 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 I'm, I'm, I'm confused. What is happening? What's happening? What? Genuinely have no idea what to say about that. So what is this? So wait, what? Oh, is he? Oh, she's been shot, girls. <laughs> bang, bang, you shut me down. Bang, bang, I hit the ground. Bang, bang, that awful sound. Bang, bang, I've got a shit tattoo. Ooh, 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 ah, ooh, ooh. What is, what? I, I feel like I've seen this before a little while ago. What is this? What's that? What happened to this finger? What I'm squished. I was squished in a vice. Somebody's touching me. What is this finger? I always get told, I've been told many times of different tattoo artists, like doing hands is one of the hardest things to draw and to tattoo. I think even artists say it as well. Like, but like, what is happening here? The thing is, it's a bad tattoo, obviously, but this, uh, this finger, like in comparison to this one, like how did you get this finger so wrong when actually 
the way you've drawn it is so basic. God, it's a finger for like picking up, like picking key locks and things. Child, I think you broke my legs. Like it's, oh, it's a, it was a cocaine finger. People use a nail? No, they use the entire finger. When I was doing a line of coke off of it, I had time to stop and reflect and realized I've become my mother. Bang, bang, that awful sound. Bang, bang, my baby shut me down. I've not thought about that in a long time. I always love making videos about singing and things. And sometimes the sounds just like come into my mind. I'm like, oh, one little word can like trigger a song. You so what is this? Like tapping out because the tattoo is too painful. Always remember this powerful quote. Stop being a bitch and come on. You feel like tapping out because the tattoo is too painful. <laughs> <laughs> Stop being a bitch and come on. <laughs> Oh. oh, we do have a laugh on this channel. Oh, we do have to be fun. Oh, you don't have to be mad to work here, but it helps. Oh, street tattoo face in Barcelona. Oh, I mean, why not? I mean, the weather's nice. It's not raining. Seagulls are shitting. Let's tattoo my face. Ooh, sounds delish. So what? Oh, oh, wait, what? Oh, uh, sharing is caring, girls. Oh, no. What's happening? Why? What? 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 He was like, no, you've done that bit wrong. Let me do it. I'm the baby. Give me the gift certificate. Give me the gift certificate. Oh, no. What? Stupid. So, oh, wait, what? Wait, what's happening? We're watching a boxing match by the clown and the island boy wannabe. Oh, and now we literally are looking at the incest boys. What's happening? What is happening? What is what is it? It just looks like a, a mount. Like what is this? The Joker tells my star. Oh, is that a man to work in the house? Oh, no one understands my life. The Joker really speaks to me. I think the whole world is mad, and I'm the only sane one. Hmm. Or maybe it's the other way around. It's just bad, isn't it? Like just, just I don't understand this trend of all these fucking young people, young people doing all this shit, and like it just looks bad. It's just bad. Bad. Ooh, that's bad. So, what is tattoo on public transport? For God's sake, why? Why? Like, I just. Is it. Is it oh, it's just. No actual sound. Why? I just. I, 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 I would never understand the need, the desire, the want for this. Like, why? What? 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 Why do you need tattoos that bad that you're just like, I must do it on this moving train? Like, I've said it before. And I'll say it again. Stop in the name of gout. So, oh God, wait, what's happening? This person's getting a, a mole? A re I've got one, it mine was free. What's? Sure? So what, oh wait, what? What, oh God, what is that, what? Is that Sin Chef? Is that, what does that say? Some Chef, S-Y-M, some? Still? Chef? The menu goes. Chef's kiss. Oh, kisses from the chef. I've got gouts. What, what's happening? What's this? Hell's Kitchen Girls. What are you? An idiot sandwich. So what is this? So this person is getting, oh, he's getting the classic lawnmower of the head where you're going bald. Like, I, I, it's funny. Like when this, first, people started first doing this, like it was funny and it was cute and stuff. But like, it has kind of been overdone now. So it's, it's funny, it's cute, whatever. And you know, it's a humor for, you know, losing your hair, but I, it is a little bit overdone at this point. Like it, it's, it's, I've seen hundreds of these now, but yeah, it's cute. It is what it is. Like it's, 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 it's fine. So Shrek, what's this Shrek? Hello, what's, oh, oh. Shrek girls, oh Shrek. I want Shrek on my arm. Oh, come to my bog, <laughs> like what? God, check the basement. What? So what's this? I don't know what they're saying. It's a different language. So they're getting... Oh, is this another four? I'm so sick of these videos now. Like that girl comes out and does that thing where she's like, oh, I'm going to tell the boyfriend. We've seen this video already. And then it, like there was this huge explosion of everyone doing it. But the stupid thing is, it's like this trend was like from a year or so ago. I remember seeing people do some of this stuff like a year ago. And it's like, why are you jumping on a trend that's already so old? It's really weird. I don't get it. I don't, like, I don't believe this for a second. Like, this time, the person's actually rubbing it a bit more, because the other ones, they're sort of like, they kind of dab it, so don't they don't smudge the makeup or whatever it is they've used. This one, they're actually rubbing it, but it, it, it's like, 
I just don't believe it. I just don't believe it. I just don't believe it. Funniest Chinese tattoo fails. Oh. I don't know. I don't know, girls. Female gas flow. Oh, God. Fast and foolish. Oh. Golden pig. But pig is upside down. God. Chicken noodle soup. <laughs> Maybe they just love chicken noodle rice. soup. Maybe they love rice. With a pair of angry looking eyes. Veg angry vegetables. Bitter idiot. Oh, well, I mean, and this one doesn't even mean anything. Just a bunch <laughs> of squiggles. I mean, I love this. I prefer the other girl who does it because this girl kind of is a little bit too AI robot. The other girl actually has fun and laughs. I feel like this girl's just seen someone else do it and going, I can do that too, but doesn't really have much of a sort of like uh, presentry personality. But like, I, yeah, sure. Like if, if, if something means that much to you, but you don't even understand it, it clearly can't mean that much to you. I think it's one of those things where it's like other people's sort of like languages and things aren't just like, oh, fun, quirky things to do. Like it, like, come on, sis. The show is so, oh God, wait, what? <gasps> oh, this, um, wait, what? So there's a child, did the child do this? I mean, it's very impressive that a kid of this age can actually tattoo at this level, but like, is this legal? I mean, I guess it would vary from where you are. Would this be legal? The child looks about like nine, maybe 10. Oh god, I'm burping. Sorry. This child is about nine or ten. I again, I, I I don't really. I, it's hard for me to tell kids' ages. But like, it's tattooing this person's back. But is that legal? I'm pretty sure there was that woman in America who does that. The blindfold tattoo and the, the really bad glitter tattoos, and she's like the fraud woman. Like, I swear she had her kid like tattooing inside the studio, and it's actually illegal in her state to let children do that. I'm sure maybe it varies from state to state in America. I don't know where this is, but like, I don't think this would be legal in the UK either. Could you let a child do this in an st adult studio? I don't know. So what is this? So this person is getting a finger tattoo and they're getting, oh, wow. Wait, are they gonna get something that detailed on their finger? <gasps> oh, wow. I mean, wow. Okay, so, right, let, oh, let me just pause at the end. Okay, so, oh, the stupid play button has to get in the way. As it stands, like, the tattoo, considering where it is, it looks cool. People who maybe not understand tattoos as much, like, won't necessarily understand this, but, like, that looks, I like it. I think it looks cool. It's impressive they managed to get something that detailed, especially on a finger where, like, there's not much space. However, this kind of stuff is going to heal really badly. The finger, the skin on your fingers, I can take myself, my own little, you know, I, I can say this from own personal experience. Like the, the fingers, the skin on your fingers is so thin. It's very difficult to get ink to stay there. And when you do finger tattoos, you never want to do anything that's like hyper realistic or like really detailed because the skin in your finger, the constant friction, the thinness of the skin, it's just going to like, dis the ink's going to disperse really. Like we've gone over my fingers a few times and you can see it's kind of hard to tell, I guess. There's like a few parts of my like knuckle where you can see the colors a bit weird. And this is a few times going over as well. My knuckles were kind of like quite, a had a lot of pink in it and most of it's come out. Like your finger skin is really difficult to get the ink to actually stay in there well. So when you do your fingers, you want something that's kind of a really sort of like basic design. You don't want anything too realistic. So like realism on the fingers, it looks good here when he's just finished. Trust me, in a couple of years, it's just going to be like a smudge. Like when the ink starts to disperse, especially because there's like a lot of white here as well as well. Like it's not going to age very well. Um, So like finger tattoos, they're great, but don't get anything hyper realistic or like really detailed. Like that's why we went for like Pac-Man Ghost on my this finger because it's a very basic design. This just, it's not going to last very long. I think it looks good. And anyone who's outside the title world probably doesn't understand and might be like, oh, it's gorgeous. But if just a bit of knowledge of tattoos and things, like it's not going to age very well. So what is this? So this person has a blotch. Oh, oh, is this that? Str uh, there's a person who does a lot of these sort of like fixing tattoos on uh, Instagram. I don't know if it's the same person. This is on TikTok, but God. So this person's obviously had a tattoo in their ears. And of course, over time, it's like, I'm guessing the tattoo was, oh God. The thing is, right. So what we just saw at the very beginning, in, a, in like no time, this is gonna look exactly the same as you just saw at the beginning. To fix tattoos like this, you can't just do what this person did. You'd need to probably get it lasered off and then go over. Like you can't just tattoo over a place like that and just think it's gonna be fine. As this heals, it's gonna look so much like it just did at the very beginning. Like it's just gonna, it's just gonna start looking like this again. You can kind of see it looks like, you can see little points here. So I'm assuming it was actually what we just saw, but just tattooing it over like that, it's not gonna age, like it's not gonna age well. It's just gonna go back to this. You wanna get it lasered off and then done something else over it. Like these sort of like fine line tattoos, they're never really gonna heal amazingly just cause how the ink disperses. So you'll lose a lot of the detail and places like this, just going over it like this, it once it heals, 
it's just gonna look like it just did at the beginning. Baddie tattoo. Oh, she's got it tattooed. Oh. Oh. So we'll just pause here a second. Like, so she's got smoky eye tattoo. Okay. I think it looks all right. I think it looks like fine. Um, but I would always advise against doing things like this because you're re you really are suddenly now locking yourself into a specific makeup look. You've got it set on whore. It's going to be difficult now to do something else over that. But also, again, as these kind of tattoos age, they're going to change the color as well. And it's going to go to like an odd color after like after a few years or whatever, especially after washing your face all the time and like the constant movement. Like... It's gonna look strange and it's gonna like, as the ink disperses a bit, it's gonna like smudge out a little. Like it's, it, it like, I don't know. I, I just feel like it's an odd choice to do and you're locking yourself into a specific makeup look. And like with makeup trends, they change all the time. And if you're gonna go to this level to start tattooing things with your face and makeup, I'm assuming you're probably someone who like loves makeup and loves all this. Like you, you're locking yourself in. Things like this are gonna get outdated very quickly. Well guys, I'm well and truly aboard that trigger train. Choo choo, speeding down the railway, about to crash off a cliff and plunge to my death. Bye. Oh, and I'm back just like Jesus Christ. Oh, squat for Jesus. Oh, Jesus loved a good peach. Oh, Jesus loved to get rolled on the last supper table. Oh, Jesus was a bottom. Oh, Jesus loved to get tattooed all over his face with semen. <laughs> <laughs> no, say Jesus. Tell me the no, say. No, say with your gang of men. Thank you for watching today's video. Uh, this has been interesting. As I said, I love doing these because you just never know what on earth you're going to see. This has been a lot. The, the the man who tattooed his dad's ashes onto the soles of his feet so he can walk on his grave every day. I mean, there's no coming back from that. <laughs> All the stupid forehead tattoos. I'm so over it now. Can we just stop this trend now? Like, it's, it's just dumb. That one guy, though, who was, like, tattooing his, like, tattooing himself for 500 days and was tattooing his whole body. Again, bad vibes. That gave me the ick. Something weird's happening there. Something strange was going on there. And, God, the... the, the but today has just been full of, like, insanity. Anyway... Thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure you do check out the rest of my videos on my channel. I have lots of playlists, lots of piercing playlists, lots of tattoo playlists. All the links are below. Make sure you go check all that stuff on my channel. Give me some love. Give me some comments and subscribe and hit the notification bell. All that fun stuff. And join the family of whatever the hell this is meant to be. Please hit the like button. Yeah, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. All my social media links are down below. Twitter. Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff. Come follow me. Come send me things to react to. Today's Twitch shout out goes to Biotic Warlock Girls. Thank you for following me over on Twitch. I am back on Twitch now, streaming regularly every single week. So come follow me over on Twitch. We do lots of reactions over there and we also play some video games as well. So come follow me on Twitch. It's Rolly West over on Twitch. Come join the Twitch family. A massive shout out to my lovely Patreons whose names you can see on the side of the screen here. Thanks for being a Patreon. You guys are mwah, delicious. But an extra special shout out to my top tier Patreons, Luca, Prince of Horror, Cameron Pittman, Callum S, Rishi, Athena Barrington, Erin Grace, Heather McFarland, Christina Kyle, Benjamin Baker, Ai A, Robin Scott Palmer, Corin Pemberton, Bethard, Steph Utech, Caitlin Wright, Chloe Louise, Shell Herman, and Kelly Bowser. Thank you for being my top tier Patreons. You guys are mwah, delicious. There's a Patreon link down below as well if you'd like to come join the Patreon family and help support the channel. Anyway, be fabulous, be amazing, be gay, be everything you want to be, and don't let any bitch out there tell you that you can't be you. Why is that? Because you are flawless. Stay in school, kid! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, wow.